Hey there, geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to look at what to do if 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi isn't showing up in Windows. Shouldn't be too tough to figure out, and the beauty of it is I just got done fixing my wife's computer that was running slow. And when I checked it, it only supported 2.4 and not 5. So there's a couple things you can do, and this is exactly what I did. First thing I did was update drivers. And if you follow the link in the description, you can get to this page for the rest of these links. This story right here jump right to number three get the driver from your computer manufacturer you have a specific problem do not use a driver updater go to your manufacturer and while you're there whether it's a computer manufacturer or a network card manufacturer you want to confirm that five gigahertz is actually supported which is exactly where I ran into the problem with my wife's computer when I realized one way I could tell is my router is set up with my two addresses so it shows the regular, which is my, my router name is it hurts when I pee. So it's I it hurts when I pee and then it hurts when I pee five. So my wife did not show the it hurts when I pee five, meaning that five gigahertz wasn't supported. So I actually dug up an old what I have? Logit no Netgear A twenty six ten sixty two ten and when I went to the page I saw dual band. You see dual band then it's supported and we can work out your problem. Another way to do it is PowerShell. Press your Windows key plus X and hit PowerShell. And we want to type in this command right here. N-E-T-S-H WLAN show drivers. Let's do that. Now what we're looking for is this number right here. You could have a whole bunch of them show up. The more the merrier as dumb as it sounds under radio type supported and I will tell you why you can look right here again on the guide if you see these three you are 2.4 only if you see these two you are 2.4 only if you see these or even more as I have here in the screenshot so you can see I have the 802.11a which tends to be as you notice NGB and sometimes the reason they're repeated is they'll show up with just those three and nothing else. A is one of the big ones that you can see is here that isn't in the 2.4 gig. So for the most part, if you happen to see A in there, it should be dual band. But again, as you see, these three at a minimum, I have one, two, three, four, five, six. So there you have it. And this will tell you whether you even support it. And of course, you might need to check if your router supports it, meaning now you got to look up your router go online and look it up but I mean I've got a router here it's we're in 2020 here of March and I've had the same router here for three or four years and it supports it so there's a pretty good chance unless you've got a real ancient router that it's supported so check if your card supports it check if your router supports it and then of course you should see when you go looking for internet there's my five that means five gig that one there is not five gig it hurts gigahertz there you go so okay so scrolling down to the bottom here in case we can help you further it's just the basics on how to find it one of the articles down here is how to change your preferred band a little bit about auto tuning improving your wireless network performance slower internet etc how to see your adapter speed all these things can help you in this situation so real quickly while we're here how to change your preferred band now it's pretty well known that 2.4 gig can actually cover a larger area and even penetrate objects. So like if you're outside, you're getting like nothing for internet, but if you switch to 2.4 and you're walking through a metal door, you might actually get better internet, although slower, but not as slow as, you know, one bar. So what we wanna do is we wanna find your wireless adapter and we wanna check the preferred band. That's just if you want to specify. Like in the super troopers <laughs> I did not specify all right here we go there is my adapter for my wireless I'm on to double click it we're gonna click on the advanced tab and one thing right out of the gate as well you'll notice I have options for 2.4 and 5 if you don't you can once again go back to the basics and figure out if your router and your network card supports it of course again as a reminder your network card would broadcast as five if it was supported so right away you can kind of eliminate it hopefully that makes sense 
Scroll down to preferred band. This is where you can decide which one works. I have it on no preference right now, but you can do 2.4 or 5G first. That is up to you. So if you're outdoors a lot or having problems with walls in a larger house, lucky you, you might do better off with 2.4G. But really at the end of the day, you want the 5G if you can get it. You may consider a repeater. That's another thing. So if you have a large house and you're on the second story way the heck over on the corner, a repeater might help you out. Now with gaming, it's a different story, but just overall speed, it'll help. So hopefully we got you. If not, leave a comment. You can also go here to speedtest.net. We provided a link to that and you can do your speed test. So that will allow you to change your settings. For example, specify 2.4, then specify five. And then look at those ads. <laughs> you think Major Geeks is bad, come on. And, but it's a good site. And uh, basically you can run the 2.4, see what your speed is, drop it to, or bring it back up to five and see what your speed is in this preferred band tutorial. And you know what? Maybe you'll find out you can live with the speeds at 2.4 for better range. And there you have it. So that's how you change your preferred band. And this is how you figure out why it's not showing up. I hope it's hard to cover everything, but I think we got you. At the bottom of the video as it closes is a Major Geeks logo. You click on that and you can subscribe, which is always appreciated. And a like if we helped you out. Leave a comment. I try to respond to everything. And I even try and do it politely. I'm not very good at it, but I try. All right, guys. Thanks for watching, as always.